I'm so glad you're able to join me to learn about loading external API data. When you open the weather application on your phone, the weather data you see comes from a server somewhere in the world. One of the many companies providing weather data is Open Weather Maps. They collect weather information from all over the world and store it on their servers. They also provide free accounts to people like us who want to learn how to use an API. The weather app on your phone communicates with the weather service using an API or application programming interface. Your phone asks to fetch some piece of weather information. Then you await the return of the data from the server. Open Weather provides several different types of weather information when you use their API. Under the Current and Forecast Weather section, there's one called Current Weather, which we will use in our lesson today. In order to make an API weather request of their servers, you need to provide a latitude, a longitude, and your personal API key. These are required. These last three are optional, and I'm going to use the units to convert the temperature from Kelvin to Fahrenheit. Not just anyone can request weather data. You must first create an account, and then they provide you your very own access code called an API key. It's just a really long number. To find the latitude and longitude for any place on planet Earth, first open Google Maps. Then search for the name of the town. In my case, I'm looking for Seneca Falls, New York. Right-click your mouse in the center of town. Google Maps will show you the latitude and the longitude of that exact spot. You simply click on these numbers and then you will be notified that they have been copied to the clipboard and you can paste them into your JavaScript. Depending on where you are in the world, you will use Kelvin, Fahrenheit, or Celsius for your temperature. Open Weather Maps has all three available. Using the API, we can choose which one is reported. MDN provides this example code block for checking that the fetch was successful. When we are done, our fetch will look very similar. Now we have all the necessary pieces to make the API call. In this web lab, we will get weather data for the town of Seneca Falls, New York. This is the town where the movie It's a Wonderful Life with Jimmy Stewart was based. When we get done, our web page will look something like this with live data injected from the JSON file we just downloaded. The JSON data we will get will have the name of the town, a weather icon representing the current conditions, a text description of the current weather, and the current temperature. As we noticed in the last slide, the weather icon is identified by a file name. The open weather site provides us the full path, which we can see here. Using template literals, which we already learned about, we can construct a URL path to display any weather icon. Okay, with that introduction, let's get started.